I work in a first grade class at Manhattan New School, and we often do research about the issue of child labor and sweatshops. It's very important to me that they learn about this issue, the issues around child labor and sweatshops, because it's an issue that affects the world and it will affect them as, as adults. We begin by finding out what they know, their prior knowledge, and then the children ask questions. Some children want to know, why would parents let their children work? Why do children do child labor? Why don't they go to school? Why don't they do what the kids in, in our class do? Um, what kinds of work do they do? And those questions are the beginning, those are the foundation of our research. Those, we will seek to answer those questions. And then families may ask questions, and I will have questions that I will add to it. And so we will work for several months and do research to get, to get the answers. So once we, we have an idea of our questions and our possibilities for finding answers, we set out to do our work. When I first uh, started teaching about child labor and sweatshops, I had almost no resources that were good for first graders. And so I had to reach out, and I reached out first to the families. And I told them about our research, and I asked them if they had any books or videos, any people we could meet and interview, and I wanted to know if any of them had parents or grandparents who had done child labor or who had worked in a sweatshop. Uh, I tried to make the research we're doing interdisciplinary. In other words, we, if, we, if we meet someone and we're talking about their story, we may use drama and role play their story. Um, we may go on a trip and we'll make a painting, a mural of our, of our trip. We may read a book and at, at read aloud, for read aloud and have a great discussion and perhaps we'll even make a painting of that. If we interview someone, we'll write a book about that person. We'll draw pictures of that person and that book, we'll make copies of that book and we'll use that for our reading lessons. So there are tremendous possibilities if you look at it as something that's not just somebody comes and talks to you about it or you just read a book, but you're actually thinking of ways to uh, bring the issues to the children through art, through music, through literature, through reading, through writing, through math, um, and any way possible to help deepen their understanding. My goal is to get them to be social activists in a small way or in a big way as they get older. And, and not only for them to be activists, but to involve their families and their friends in that activism. And I think that's it. I'm going to turn the camera off.